genuinely don't think my hair has any potential of being recovered from this but we're gonna give it our best shot because i genuinely don't have time to wash it today even though i think washing it will take a little bit less time but yeah let's just try to bring this pair back to life good morning everyone it is a beautiful a very very warm sunny day and i just got back from my morning walk and the hair is not herring and it has not been herring for the past few weeks and i'm very close into chopping it all off pretty much because no this is not a good look this is not a good look i mean this is very dehydrated hair but even that no the hair is not herring and i don't know what to do i'm not going with a very heavy layer of dry shampoo because god knows my hair needs it i wear a hat in the morning when i go on my morning walk why is the spray of this so loud um yeah i wear a hat when i go um on my morning walk and i never knew i can sweat that much so sorry if it's a little bit disgusting but yeah that is the case literally that dry shampoo everywhere um but yeah i didn't know that i can sweat that much um not glorious obviously um but i mean it's good for my um workout session um but yeah my hair is not herring and very soon i feel like we're going to have a hair chop kind of a situation because i cannot take this any longer it is not sparking joy and if you know me you know one of my pet peeves is um damaged thinned out hair and my hair is exactly giving that and that is just not a vibe but for today we're going to try our best to bring it back to life by curling it because dyson hair just looks a little bit more voluminous it looks a little bit more textured and it is not looking as bad as this so let me grab a hair clip and my uh what do you call it heat protectant i barely have heat protectant left this is the ghd one and i absolutely love it especially for refreshing my hair um but i started using a kerastase one but that one you can't apply like midweek it has to be a from wash to wash kind of a vibe which is not my vibe because i needed to be able to apply heat protectant uh, when i'm restyling my hair midweek as well so as much as i like the other one from kerastase i think i'm going to repurchase this one as well for my midweek restyling and just wish me luck i'm gonna go in with uh, my Dyson, obviously, should I do the small barrel or the big barrel? Let's just do the big barrel. And I'm just gonna curl it as usual, and then uh, I'm gonna do my makeup. I'll try to, should I pin it? No, then it would be too curly. No, we're not gonna pin it. I'm just not gonna open it until I am completely done with my entire head. And then we will brush it through, and hopefully it will be a, a presentable hair kind of a vibe. That was lovely but yeah um it would be a presentable kind of a vibe because i have a pretty busy day today and i need my hair to look presentable pretty much <laughs> the hair as is and do my makeup and then afterwards when i'm done with my makeup we'll brush it out and apply a little bit of oil to my hair but for the time being i'm just gonna leave it alone and get to my makeup and before i start uh, my makeup i wanted to um share with you two products that i'm gonna use in my makeup routine today they're both from merit beauty and you guys know how much i absolutely love merit beauty i love their stick that's the one that i use legitimately every single day it's so easy to blend um i use it for contour you can use it for uh, concealer they have 
I don't know how many, like a bunch of shades um, that um, you can use it for basically your entire face. You can like skip foundation and just use that. And I love using it for my contour. I think I'm using the color Chestnut. I'm gonna show all of the products to you guys at the end when I do my makeup. Uh, but I have two new products um, today and I have been secretly using this, but not this one. It would be my first time using this one. But we're gonna start with this, which is there. I put it back in its box so I can show it to you guys. But I needed to know what the hype about um, this product is because everyone absolutely loves it. So I've been using it for like a week, as you guys can see. And this is their Great Skin um, Instant Glow Serum. So basically, this is a hydrating serum um, that like adds glow and hydration to your skin. Um, I used this specifically this past week because one, I have been unfortunately under a lot of sun. I've been out and about and I don't know if you're familiar with rosacea skin but if you are under the sun I mean I have not been under the direct sunlight I've been wearing hat but still my rosacea areas get very 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 dry so I need all the hydration that I can get and also I have applied fake tan to my face not a lot obviously it's still not the same color as my body but I did apply fake tan to my face which again is drying so I need all the hydration and glow that I can get and I have been using um, this product the past week underneath my makeup and it makes the biggest difference especially if I'm wearing like a heavy layer of makeup like I'm going in with a thick foundation let's just say like SLR Lauder double wear that's a pretty heavy coverage foundation and it can sometimes look cakey if you have like um, what do you call it dry patches on all of that so been absolutely enjoying this so I shake it up really well and I just do one pump of it and rub it between my hands and I pat it into my skin when you look at it it looks like a oil um, obviously because it is separating but when you apply it to your skin and like the texture of it it legitimately feels like hydrating water such a weird formula but at the same time such an effective formula and I've been loving applying this as my last um, step of like skincare I do my skincare let it sink in for like 15 20 minutes and then I apply this and I let this sink in for like at least two to three minutes um, to do its magic and then I go in and I apply my makeup and I don't know if you guys can see but like it instantly adds a glow my skin is skinning again and I have uh, I mean I still have a few bits and bobs that need to be taken care of but um, I have a new skincare product that I'll show you guys it's not a product it's a device uh, I'll show it to you guys in my next video I know I'm teasing you guys but it has been a game changer if you follow me on instagram you already seen it but yeah my face inflammation is down a lot compared to the last week and my skin is finally skinning and the next product from them that i have not yet tried and today is going to be the first time that i'm trying is their flush balm basically it's their um blush steak and i went with the color beverly hills which is this beautiful rosy one i do have a lot of bright pink which is something that i truly enjoy even though during summer i feel like a little bit of a coral and orangey undertones look a little bit more flattering but i went with this one that is a beautiful rosy undertone and i can't wait to give it a try just appreciate this packaging I absolutely love Merit Beauty packaging. They're so like aesthetic and obviously you guys know how much I love gold details, but their packaging is just absolutely stunning. Now that my serum is completely synced in, I'm gonna go do my regular everyday makeup look and then um, we will try out this blush together.
I just did my makeup. I only have um, blush and highlighter left, but what I used from Married Beauty is their... Um, what is this called exactly? To be honest with you, I don't remember. Let me look it up, actually. This is called their Minimalistic perfecting complexion stick and i'm using it in a color chestnut because i like to use it as my bronzer and like my cream contour and i also use their lipstick which i absolutely love the formula of this is truly unreal it is so soft like comfortable but not like glossy or like matte it's such a beautiful beautiful lipstick i need to get more colors of this i'm using this in a color i cannot see millennial <laughs> so yeah i'm using this it's like a beautiful brownish rosy color i absolutely love this and now we are going to go in with this blush and i'm very 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 excited to give it a try i have no idea how much product i'm supposed to take um so usually i like to load up my brush and let's go in Oh, this is such a pretty color and it's exactly what I wanted it to be like a blush under oh my god it's glowy can you guys see it it is such a beautiful color it is exactly what I wanted it to be um, like I wanted it to be like this fresh rosy color but like not too pink and it is exactly that and it blends beautifully one very important thing when it comes to any kind of uh, blush or like cream product on top of powder because i have obviously set my face is um not even only on top of powder even on top of liquid products is that to make sure it is not picking up the underneath product and this is not picking up the underneath product and it looks beautiful i really really like it and it has a little bit of a glow to it so i don't even need to um add a highlighter i'm not sure if camera is picking up on the glow of it it is very 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 stunning i really really like it i mean let's just apply it a little bit more heavy because i'm going to be filming a reels in a couple of hours and i need my makeup to last now i need more colors of this because it's just so 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 beautiful i'm going to link all of my favorite married beauty products for you guys in the description box below and if it is your first time ordering with them you will receive um their iconic bag um free of charge and i believe they do um uh, free shipping um over 40 dollars if i'm not mistaken i will link all the details for you guys in the description box below i absolutely love 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 this bag i got one for my cousin adana when i went to london she absolutely loved it as well but yeah that is my makeup done now let's try to fix out this hair and see how is the hair looking um, because okay there's hope there's hope for my hair let's brush it out i keep looking around me because i have all of my products like distributed around me let's brush this out I'm going to apply a little of my Gizu oil because the ends are really, really dehydrated and they need help until hopefully tomorrow will be a hair wash day and potentially a haircut day because I cannot take this ends anymore. They're truly bothering my soul and i am a believer that if you don't cut your hair your hair is not going to grow that's a very very strong belief on belief of mine so if you want healthy looking hair cut your hair every six to eight weeks you don't have to go make a drastic change you can just cut an inch that will make the biggest difference but yeah the hair is not gonna be herring but this is the best that we can do and to be honest with you i'm fine with it it's not as bad as i thought it would be but it would be acceptable for today's event and content pretty much i have a very very exciting package from h&m which i did a little bit of a sneak peek of it over on my instagram and so many of you guys messaged me that you can't wait to see this haul so 
uh, let me get dressed and get into the H&M try on haul I have already tried on all of these items and I know what fits me what doesn't fit me obviously the items that fit me I'll show you to show the try on haul section of it to you guys uh, but there are items that unfortunately um, did not fit me so I can't show it to you guys on me but obviously I'll insert the picture of the model uh, but I'm going to start out with the accessories that I got and one pair of shoe so for earrings I got this one and I absolutely love 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 it it's like gold leaves with a pearl um ending and i really really like it i love how like extra it is and we all know how much i love earrings um they had another earring that unfortunately i was not able to get it uh, if it comes back in stock i'm going to link it for you guys but it was this beautiful bold um heart um bold gold heart earring i absolutely loved it but by the time i came to purchase it unfortunately it was sold out only the silver was left and we all know how i feel about silver jewelry um but yeah they're doing currently really really well when it comes to earrings they have some beautiful pieces um not only earring but like their accessory section is doing really 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 well um, and the next item that I have for you guys is an item that when you look at it, you would know how obsessed I am with this because it has my name written all over it, but I got the most beautiful black ballet flats. I don't know if camera is picking up on it, but they have like sparkles on them and I am literally obsessed with it. These are a little bit of a different fit compared to the black um, and white pair. Um, these ones feel a little bit more round, especially when I wear them. They feel a little bit more round in the front, but when I put them next to each other, they look pretty much identical. Uh, but yeah, really, really, really love them. I have not yet worn them because I wanted to show it to you guys first and then start wearing them. Probably today will be a day that I will start wearing this. But beautiful pair of shoes and I always size up in them. This is a size 9. Um, I did try on size 8, 8 and a half from H&M. But especially when it comes to ballet flat and being warm nowadays everything expanding my feet expanding i just want them to be super comfortable so i size up um pretty much like half a size a full size like i'm basically wearing size 9 um european 40 for comfort and it's just so 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 adorable here are the shoes and i am obsessed with them i really really like them i don't know if it is more visible on camera that i was telling you guys they seem a little bit more round uh but regardless keeping them and slightly obsessed with them not sure why but i ordered this in a size medium and i cannot fit into this there is obviously zero stretch to the fabric um, but it is a beautiful beautiful um top um i match this with a skirt that i'll show you guys next i was planning on wearing them together as like an all white outfit uh, but unfortunately the top didn't fit me and to be very very honest with you it gives me a little bit of a lingerie vibe like i would appreciate it a little bit more if i only had the lace on top but the bottom lace like these sections are a little bit too laundry for me that's why i didn't even look to see if they have a bigger size of it so even if it did fit me this would be a pass again because it's a little bit too laundry for the side laces the top lace i absolutely love very sexy very feminine very soft but the bottom one is a little bit too laundry for my liking so yeah this will be a pass um for me but to go along the side of this top i ordered this skirt that i have already wore and i absolutely love it i ordered both size medium and large but i'm keeping this size medium if i'm not mistaken yes size medium because um it fits me really nicely and it just goes a little bit more a line like on the hip area and the um, waist of it is elastic so the size medium works fantastic but it is this beautiful very 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 wrinkly and very difficult to keep it um smooth and like straight skirt but i absolutely love it it's so beautiful if you guys 
um, don't know or you have not watched my previous video which was not the previous one maybe before that which was all the summer trends of uh, 2023 um, Max's skirts are very much in right now and this one is super long I absolutely love 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 it it has a little bit of a design on this side basically it has like an extra bit attached to it I don't know if it is visible on camera but it has like stitching here and I absolutely love it. I wore this um, the past weekend when I went out to dinner and I posted it actually on my Instagram and so many people were asking for a link and I was like, you guys have to wait. Unfortunately, you guys have to wait because uh, my next haul of H&M is really, really good and I cannot ruin it. But yeah, beautiful skirt absolutely love it and i would say it runs true to size but it is very 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 difficult to keep it smooth and ironed and polished pretty much just imagine the skirt um steamed because it looks a lot more presentable when it is steamed but to be honest you couldn't be bothered um i absolutely love it and you guys know i'm keeping this i wore this this weekend with my striped um, literally the same tank top but with um, the striped one and with black belt and absolutely loved it not many people will be comfortable having it so high up you don't have to but I personally love a high-waisted moment if you're being very honest and um, yeah the only thing is that I would say I don't like this area of it that's why I added a belt because I felt like it looks a little bit weird and the elastic of it as much as it is pretty thick but I feel like it flips especially when I'm sitting so I personally will probably wear belt with it every time I wear it but you do you and obviously you don't have to wear it um, as high-waisted and also I am 5'4 so if I don't bring it that high up this will drag on the floor which is a very cute vacation kind of a vibe but when I'm at and about I don't like it to drag on the floor and get dirty uh, but yeah again you do you you can wear it wherever you want to wear it but I'm personally comfortable at this length. I just want to give you guys all the facts before you purchase it. Um, the fact that it is wrinkly bothers me, but at the same time, I really like the design and the fit of the skirt, so I'll be keeping it. So this next item, I'm not sure if I am keeping or not. It's actually two items because they're matching separates, and I'll show you guys the skirt and then we'll get to the next piece of it. Um, so you guys know how much I love book line materials. How beautiful is this? Absolutely love it. Uh, but unfortunately it comes with a silver button and we all know how i feel about silver button um i did order um gold buttons from amazon like a pack of gold buttons that were that are like this um like old school looking buttons um so i do have a pack of that that i can switch this to the gold one but i don't even know if it's gonna look good or not um but yeah that is one issue the second issue is i don't wear baby blue like i wear baby blue when it comes to denim or like shirts but i don't know how i feel about this so i have to wear it for you guys and then you guys help me decide if i should keep this or not um the thing is i don't know what kind of shoes and bag i would wear with this maybe neutral i think so yeah if the buttons were gold it would have been so much easier because beige would have looked perfect with it but yeah so here is the skirt, got it in a size US 16 because I have this experience before. Um, the bottoms that don't have any kind of stretch from H&M, I have to size up, not only one size, but like two sizes up pretty much uh, because they don't fit me. Oh, another issue with that skirt is that it is a little bit um, short for my liking. So when I'm doing the try on haul, you guys will see it. Uh, but the next piece of it is this beautiful boucle coat that again you guys know how much I absolutely love I have every single color I have pink white black beige I don't have baby blue and I need a one cropped pink one if you're being very honest but for the time being here is the blue that I think will look absolutely stunning during fall time even with denim and like white top so i'm very very tempted to even if i'm not keeping this skirt to keep the uh blazer because it's so cute got this in a size large such a beautiful uh, material and if i keep it for sure i'm changing the buttons the silver buttons are not giving me life and it just bothers my eye to be honest with you but 
it is a very very beautiful blazer that i feel like i'll get a lot of wear out of it you can wear it with all white outfits with light blue denim as i mentioned so yeah let me know if i should keep this set the entire set or just keep the blazer when you see it on me as i mentioned i got the skirt in a size 16 because of my hips but i feel like the waist area is a little bit too big for my liking and also it is not belair approved short this is a lot shorter than what i usually go for and i'm comfortable with so i really feel like the skirt will be a return because it's just is not a vibe but then at the same time i feel like i'll regret returning it i really really like it i have never been a baby blue kind of a person but now that i have it like on i really like it i feel like it complements my hair really nicely the only thing bothering me is this um what do you call it um silver buttons that when i change them to gold i feel like i'll absolutely love this set but yeah you guys let me know if I should keep this or return it. I feel like the blazer is for sure a yes because it just sits really nicely. It's beautiful. It's classic. And boucle um, blazers will never go out of style. I know they are very trendy right now, but they are such a timeless pieces. I paired it with this very simple um, vest from H&M. These are literally the absolute best. I'll link them for you guys they come in tons of different colors. I would say get it all, um, especially the striped one. I really like that one as well. Uh, but yeah, the blazer, I think I'm going to keep. But the skirt, you guys have to let me know what you guys think of it. Obviously, H&M doesn't sell the sets together you always have to purchase them separately but i believe these are a matching separate again as well i'm going to start off with a skirt of it and then we'll move on to the top section um so it is this beautiful black something very out of my character i don't wear like black skirts but i have another black skirt here uh, besides this one but let's just talk about this one now it is this beautiful smart looking midi skirt that has a slit in the front and it is so beautiful i absolutely love it it has the belt loops which is you guys know a winner in my book and i love everything about it i don't know where i would go that i would wear like a black pencil midi skirt is it pencil yeah I think so but yeah um yeah i don't know where will i wear this but i kind of really really liked it specifically with its matching top um i got this in a size 14 again because it doesn't have any kind of stretch to it and as of experience i always know that i need to size up um when it comes to non-stretchy materials of h&m and with that goes this vest I have to wear this for you guys to have the full vision but here is the vest i got this in a size large and i believe i have the size medium of it as well i don't remember which size of it fits me better um but yeah i saw the model wearing this vest with that skirt and it looked so cute with the black belt and i just thought that's such a chic and sophisticated look so yeah i don't know I'm a little bit on an iffy side with this set because of the color of it. You guys know I'm more of a neutral girly, neutral meaning white and beige. And recently I started wearing black and I'm very, very into summer blacks if you're being honest. I am so sorry, that was my alarm. Um, it's time to take my antibiotic, but yeah. So I'm not sure how much wear I will get out of this vest, probably once or twice. I really like the look of this vest with the skirt, but I don't think separately I'll wear them. I just thought I'll give it a try, but I have promised myself that I'm not going to keep items that I wouldn't want to wear every single day, pretty much. Like if I see an item in my closet and I don't want to wear it, like every single day then that product need to go so i'm being very very strict with myself i'm gonna try this on for you guys for you to see it on me and i'll appreciate it if you guys can help me decide if i should keep it or i should return it love the fact that the, ve um, the vest is a square neck usually they're a v-neck and i'm a huge fan of square neck tops so the vest has my heart but again i feel like i will not wear it as much if this was any other color like if it was beige or white i would have worn it bajillion different ways but because it is black i feel like i like this look together and 
probably I'm not going to reach for any of these items separately. It needs accessorizing for sure. I feel like it needs a beautiful necklace and belt for sure and maybe like gold heels. Um, with flats, it's a very basic look, which is cute. You can go for this. It's a classic look, but at the same time, I feel like with heels, it will look a little bit more elevated. So I'll need you guys to help me decide if I should keep this or return this. Are you ready for the drama of this skirt? This is very, very out of my comfort zone, but when I saw it, I was like, I need to give it a try. So it is pretty much a a midi skirt that has a slit in the back but only the top section of it has a layer and the remaining of it is see-through and to be honest with you i absolutely love it like love 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 it but i don't think it sits flattering on me i'll wear it and you guys will see it maybe i need to size up in it i am not sure got this in a size us 14 as well again because it does not have any kind of stretch i feel like this lining underneath um, is a little bit too short for my liking but it's a beautiful very subtly sexy and seductive skirt that i absolutely loved it when i saw it and not only i got the skirt of it but i got the pants which i'll show you guys next I really think the issue of the skirt is the fact that the underneath layer is a lot tighter than the top layer so maybe if I size up in it it will look better um, but at the same time the waist of it is pretty big on me so if I size up in it then I need to completely alter it to my sizing. That's one issue. The second issue is that the lining, the underneath um, lining of it, it's a lot shorter um than what i would usually go for like i wouldn't be comfortable sitting in this you know what i mean it's a little bit too revealing and sexy i just love the design of it but unfortunately it just doesn't work for me here is the pants version of that skirt and there was something about it that i needed to try it on but as you guys can see the lining is so short that you can see the pockets coming through it so this will be a no i bought it in two sizes i bought it in, in us 12 and 14 um and obviously the 14 fits me better even though it doesn't fit me nicely but it fits me better unfortunately they don't look flattering on me and i have to uh pass up on them you have no idea how excited i was about this pants there's just something about it that i really really liked but unfortunately it is just not my thing maybe i should give a bigger size of it a try i'm not sure you know what that's what i'll do i'll buy this is a size 14 i'll buy the size 16 and see if that one will be a better look because as weird as it sounds i really like the design of it so we'll give the bigger size a try and keep you guys posted there's something about it that i really really like right when you thought i'm done with black skirts we have another one i mean this one is a little bit of a more of a gray undertone but we have another midi skirt and this one i have again already worn if you follow me on instagram you have already seen it i wore it this past weekend um got it in a size us 12 it is very very tight on me very but they didn't have size 14. it does not have even the slightest of a stretch but it is this beautiful midi skirt with slit in the front very much on trend and for an odd reason, I didn't want to go for the blue one. They had blue, white, and this one. Unfortunately, the white one was completely sold out, but I saw another one on ASOS that I absolutely love. I'll link it for you guys. I ordered it. I think I'm going to receive it tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, got this. I don't know for what reason. I wanted a gray, black kind of a vibe, and I absolutely love it, to be honest with you. Again, it is a very, very, very tight on me, but... I make it work. I don't breathe pretty much. Um, but yeah, really, really like the length of it. Really like the fit of it. And I'm assuming it's denim, so it might open up place as I wear it. But yeah, this is a winner. Absolutely love it. I'm going to link all of it for you guys. And I'm hoping that they will have your size available for you to purchase it because 
this is a staple and i feel like not only during summer this is coming with us like this trend of midi skirts and maxi skirts is coming with us into fall and winter when i tell you that the breeding is a little bit difficult in this skirt i'm not actually joking it is but I love this skirt. Saying that, I went out this weekend and I wore this skirt with a tube top and um, we went to a Mexican restaurant. I had the delicious food and drinks and I was fine. I didn't pass out, so it's not as bad. Um, it might look very, very tight, but it is semi-comfortable. Um, anyway, I really, really like it. I love everything about it. Surprisingly, I love the darkness of it um, and I feel like I don't have anything like it in my wardrobe. I like this little slit in the front. I feel like it's the great mixture of sexy, classy, um, like it has like a peekaboo moment, which I personally really like. So for sure, keeping this skirt, even though it is slightly hard to breed in it, but Again, I'm hopeful. I'm hoping that this will open up space. <laughs> I totally forgot that I have this accessory as well, that I have not even opened it up from its bag because this is being returned because this does not look like the color that I saw online. Online, this is beige and this is the only color that it comes in, but in person, it looks green to me. I don't know if you guys can see gray green to me. This was a true beige online. Let me find the pictures so I can show it to you guys. I am not sure why the color looks like this in person. I mean, I don't know, maybe I'm colorblind? I don't think I am. I've never had experience of being a colorblind, uh, but it runs in my family. So if, if I am, I wouldn't be surprised. My cousins are all colorblind, intensely colorblind. Um, but yeah, this bag, not sure what's going on with it like i saw it being big no like oh, come on does this look the same to you guys no like no like this is brown like true beige like warm gold undertone beige this is green yeah I didn't even open it because it is going back. So yeah, these are everything that I got from H&M. I'm going to link all of these videos in the description box below and I'm really hoping they're all still available. I post all of these items the day that I am ordering on my Instagram and on my blog. So make sure you follow me on my Instagram or subscribe to the newsletter of my uh, blog, which is free. So you guys can receive direct link um, of these items and then maybe we can do the try and haul together. So by the time my order comes, your order will Will come and H&M return is super easy we will try that at home discuss it together if you want to keep it or <laughs> return it and then we will make the decision I think that is a smarter way of shopping when it comes to H&M because unfortunately all of their items especially the popular items get sold out pretty quickly but yeah going to link all of this for you guys in the description box below in case there's an item here that you have your eye on it i have been literally glued to my laptop for the past couple of hours and i am starving i don't know if i told you guys or not i think i did at one point um, that i'm revamping my blog so i've been working on that for the past couple of hours and trying to just edit things and do the like technical things of it pretty much um i bought my theme a few years ago was it two years ago three years ago i don't want to change it but i need to edit a few bits and bobs of it and yeah that is that so i've been doing that and i'm making progress slowly but surely we're making progress but currently i am starving and i've been making this italian salad i think it's italian inspired salad um that is so delicious and so filling like and flavorful it's like the perfect lunch salad especially with the weather being warm i don't like to eat anything hot but at the same time i want something flavorful and like filling so let me show you guys how i make my italian inspired salad
cannot tell you how delicious this is. Literally glorious. Mm. I just got the cutest delivery from Abbott Leon, which you guys know I'm a huge fan of their jewelry. And I just got this um, bespoke um, name and necklace with two birdstone. And I absolutely love it. It's so, so, so adorable. I really, really like their um, necklaces. I'm going to link this one for you guys. Just overall, I really like their jewelry. The watch that I wear every single day is from them as well. And I love the quality of the items. So I'm going to link this one for you guys as well. Good morning, everyone. It is such a beautiful sunny day, but I am actually like boiling that's how hot it is i know i said i'm not going to complain about the weather being warm and the sun sunning but it's warm it's 93 degrees let's just check where did i put my phone i think it's 93 92 and it's hot like it's it's, it's hot it's like a pool weather it's 94 94 degrees so yeah it is really really warm but i have a lot of errands that i need to run so i am on my way to h&m to return the items that didn't work out and look um to see if they have different sizes and also i need to go to nordstrom because i put an order online um, for the anniversary sale and some of the items are being shipped and the other ones um are available in my local Nordstrom, so I need to go pick those up. Um, it's a diptych candle, like a set of diptych candles, which I'm so excited to be honest with you because um, I ran out of, out of all of my, um, what do you call it, um, diptych candles. So um, it's that, and I have a pair of Steve Madden uh, pink shoes, which I think they're going to be a return because I saw another pair that I like more, and I think I'm going to purchase those, but I'm still gonna go pick it up and try it on and see um, which one I'll prefer. so hot and I'm so tired but anyway I just got back home I opened up my hair because I am not used to having my hair up I was actually just recording something over on my Instagram that um, we officially hit the um, temperature in LA right now that people who do not like to have their no people who have hair where I'm saying it wrong people who um, like having their hair down like myself you guys know, I always have my hair down um, they become bum people because it's just too hot to do anything to their hair um, but at the same time I'm not used to having my hair in a bun so as soon as I got home I opened it and obviously I'm going to wash it I was going to wash it now but I'm going out to ice cream so I'm gonna go out and then come back home and wash it and do the hitless thing but I wanted to show you guys the items that I picked up from um, Nordstrom um, the candles are smaller than what I thought they would be I'll show it to you guys but let me get into the shoe first because obviously I have not yet even tried them on but here they are and to be honest with you I'm not loving them I don't know what it is I have to try it on and see um, how it is going to look on me um, so yeah let's just try this on I really like the color of it but I wish you see how the tip of it is um it is not flat it has a little bit of a heel which i don't mind it but i don't like this ending what is it called the tip of it basically but let me see even if it fits me with oh it's big on me what size did i get oh my god i got 10 i usually am an eight or eight and a half why would I get 10? Yeah, this is too big on me. And honestly, 
it's not as ugly what do we think of them obviously they are big on me so if i want to keep them i need to get them my size because as you guys can see they don't sit right not sure about it but i think in order for me to make a decision if i like them or not i need to actually try my size i think i'm gonna look up and see if they have um, a smaller size i think they do so that is one item that i picked up and the second item is this diptyque candle set that um it's a value of 100 and okay value of 168 and i got it for 118 and it is different um diptyque candles if you guys don't know I'm sure you know but I am crazy about candles and I am not trying to rip this but I guess that's the only way you can go about this um, but yeah I'm crazy about candles specifically diptyque and these are basically minis they're not big but it is base roses figuere and mimosa they're pretty small they're teeny tiny like teeny tiny they have a good burn time but they're like small um but yeah got that because we desperately needed new candles and i really like the aesthetic of diptyque because you can literally put it anywhere they're such a simple packaging but at the same time chic that it can be in your bedroom it can be in the living room it can be with a, a colorful coffee table book it can be against a colorful background or it can be against a neutral background so it just works with so many different area of your house so that's why i thought this pack um was a really good value pretty much so that's why i got it now i'm going to touch up my makeup just a little bit it's still intact but um i had a little bit of smudging happening here so going to fix that and then we're gonna go on a nice game date which i'm very much looking forward to it mm -hmm. 